How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today is gonna to be such an exciting video. I'm actually showing my face for once, uh, which I don't really do on a lot of my videos, uh, but we have a really exciting video today and we actually are gonna be overclocking the 12700K to 5.1 gigahertz, gigahertz on all cores and disabling the E cores. And guess what? We're gonna be cooling this with the brand new Noctua uh, NH-U12A. Um, it's their brand new uh, cooler. Now it's a 120 millimeter fan cooler, guys, not the 140. And I think you guys are going to be impressed with how well this thing is running. And it's just, it's pretty amazing. I've had some pretty uh, incredible you know, performance gains. Uh, so that's what we're gonna go over today. Now, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please subscribe, stick around for more videos just like this because we will be bringing a lot. So guys, let's jump into it. <laughs> All right, everyone. And for some of you guys that are new, um, 3080 Ti is what we're running. There is the cooler too, it's actually really cool. Um, it is all black and uh, 3080 Ti and 64 gigs of RAM, DDR4. We also have this up here. So here is the 5.1 gigahertz all cores and it's running at 35 degrees right now. So not bad really, let's get into this game and see what it jumps up to. I'm gonna be playing some Warzone today. I probably should have mentioned what game we're playing. <laughs> that, might be, that might be a little helpful uh, to some of you guys out there, so. All right, guys, we're jumping into, uh, we're only going to do one match, and I actually ended up winning this match, <laughs> which is funny because this was the, the first game of the day. I just turned the recorder on. One thing to remember is we do lose about, oh, we do lose about 10 FPS. It's pretty noticeable, too, when we're recording um, this. So, but guys, we're jumping into our first game. We have the CPU at about 60 degrees right now does pop up a little bit every now and then 62 degrees 65 degrees it kind of sits around there um, we're hitting 140 FPS right now maxed out that this like 99% thing really doesn't work at all cuz like I'll sit up here at like 120 like 130 and uh, it just kind of you know doesn't even really do the average just showing you guys we're running 4k all the settings are ultra we have DLSS on performance and we have ray tracing on so it's pretty incredible that we're able to keep the CPU at around 60 degrees uh, it does jump up to 67 or 70 sometimes but it sits around 60 60 is what it sits around. As long as it's not like maintaining like 75, 80, I'm fine. As long as it's still in the 60s, we're good. Yeah, I can't even believe I won this game though, guys. Pretty crazy. Was definitely not expecting to win this game. Um, let's see what the CPU usage is. 55%. GPU utilization 97. We have a small we have a small little overclock on the GPU, um, but we're maintaining 130 right there pretty much. 130 FPS solid. Yeah, it's maintaining 130. It would be around 140 if we were uh, if we weren't recording, which I mean it's pretty much up there anyways. So. I'm just really amazed that this this little uh, heat sink is able to uh, cool this well. <laughs> Definitely did not think I'd be able to run it still in the 60s um, at 5.1 gigahertz all cores. Pretty amazing. And stable and stably run it. Run it. <clears throat> still up there at 140 FPS. Drops down to 120 every now and then. But, uh, still pretty amazing. One down. 
Yeah, I've just been having so much fun on this map, guys. Like, I know a lot of people are, are hating on it, but man, I, I really like it. Still around 140. I think I think the performance out of this build is just really phenomenal. I mean, we have everything maxed out right now, 4K, and it's just smooth as butter. I was a little nervous, honestly, to turn this computer on, like turn it actually on once I got the overclock done. I was like, man, what's it gonna sit at? Like, like 70 or 80? Like, I had no idea. And then we just go to 5.1 all cores, and uh, yeah, it's at about 60, uh, 65 right now. About 65 degrees. Also, my room is pretty warm, so remember that. If your rooms are really hot, like obviously, and if you don't have any like airflow in your case, that's really gonna affect um, your temps <laughs> big time. This gun's just crazy, guys. The like automation or whatever, just it's ridiculous. Just doesn't even like bounce at all. Also guys, please hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy the content. Stick around for further videos. Got a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming. Probably gonna buy the new 3090 Ti when it comes out. <laughs> Which, that's gonna be a beast. So if you guys are looking for a uh, 3080 Ti, <laughs> let me know, cause 3090 Ti comes out, I'll probably be selling this. Uh, 3080 Ti, so. Let's go over here, show you guys that FPS, still at 140. See, it's just sitting there at 140 and the average like is barely even going up. Like what? <laughs> 99%. It's kind of funny. Unless, yeah, that is true. There's just, it's funny, I've never even been on this part of the map, and I've played this, I've played this map probably 50 times, and I've never even, like, been on this side of the map. It's crazy. CPU temp is at 65 degrees right now, I have 55% usage. It does hop up to 70 though, like it will hop up, it will hop up to 70, like right there, it just hit 70, and then it goes back down to, I wish that would actually focus, but it really just doesn't want to, so I'm just going to read it off from now on. 62 degrees, up to 65, so yeah, seems like it's going to probably sit around 60 degrees. Uh, 60 to 65 is really what it's sitting around. Like right now it's at 62, 61. Which is perfect. I mean, you don't even have to go 5.1. I'm just surprised we're getting 50 something percent usage. Almost 60 percent usage out of the CPU. I thought that was an enemy right there. That's why I was like, this this was actually really funny. This guy's just like, I'm like, what the? So I down that guy. And I pull out my sniper. I'm like, oh shit, I have a sniper? Alright, 67 degrees, back down to 60, It's pretty much what it's sitting around right now, but if I had my glass case on, or my, uh, my little glass window, it probably would go up a little bit, 
probably around two to three degrees, I, I would say. Even though there's really good airflow. So this is probably like best case scenario. I mean, you know what I mean? With how good the airflow is. There's the FPS right there. Solid at 140 right there. Pretty amazing. <clears throat> All right, just so this doesn't take insanely long, let's just speed it up to the near the end here where I camp. Because I actually did camp in here. So here we go. We're going to the, we're getting near the end, guys. So watch this, this is pretty much near the end guys. And I was not expecting to actually <laughs> even win this game. Watch this. So I'm in the gas. And I'm like, well, I'm like, well, I'm dead. Look at this. I live. <laughs> and there's one guy left. Literally one guy. Yeah, I found this like gold gun. I'm just like, okay. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. Gas is inbound. So I can hear him. I'm like, oh crap, man. I thought he was up top for a second, but he's not. He's pretty close. Look how close this was. <laughs> yeah, and that's it, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. The next video is probably going to be comparing uh, the performance. Uh, maybe even taking it to 5.2 gigahertz. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.